Okay, this next tutorial we're going to be talking about cascading style sheets. Okay, and this is a computer language that that comes with HTML. It's worked with HTML. So let's go back to our index page, and I'll just click Harley's picture to take us back to the index page. And cascading style sheets, uh, a lot of times we'll uh, put something in the header, but and import a an external cascading style sheet. So, but what we're going to do right now, we're going to go up in between the head, okay, right where the title is and everything, and we're going to write a little script here. It's called style, S-T-Y-L-E, just like that. And you'll notice mine will automatically create the closing tag for style. Now, let's say that we wanted the H1 tags. Maybe we wanted the, this text to turn red. So, how would we do that? Well, I'm going to hit enter here, and then I'm going to go back up into my style sheet. So if we want to target something within a cascading style sheet, we just type the name of the selector. Right now the selector is H1. So we're going to just type in H1, just like that. And right away, the computer system knows that we're targeting the H1 tags. Now, we have to have a spot to give it commands. So all the commands go into curly braces that look like this, okay? We call these curly braces, and we separate them like this, okay? So H1, this is where we're targeting, you notice it's targeting that. Now we're going to put our commands in here. And it's cat, CSS is a little, little bit easy to understand. We just type in color, just like that, and then type in the name of color, red. So you notice here, I'm saying I want the color, and then my semicolon stands for is, okay? And then this is the, the name of the color, red. And then this little semicolon back here, this is the end of the command, okay? So here's where I'm selecting, and then here's my curly braces. Here's what I want done. I want it to color something, color the text. And then I have my is statement, red and then end of statement okay so I'm gonna click save on that and I'm gonna come back over to my um, HTML index I'm gonna refresh and you notice now I have red is the color okay but now let's say that I wanted the whole background to be gray alright well once again I would go up inside my style and I see that the body look the body takes on the whole whole thing the whole from the this is the footer to the kids it takes on everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter two times to give me some separation I'm gonna type in body just like this put my curly braces in and then hit enter to give me give myself some separation okay and then what I'm going to do hold on a second here let me get back up where I was I'm gonna hit enter right here and I'm gonna type background color just like that and then I'm going to put G-R-E-Y for gray in my uh, end of statement so now I'm telling it I want the background color to be or is gray and then end that statement okay now I'm going to click save just like that I'm going to come over here and refresh and now I have a background that color that's gray Okay, so now we're targeting the H1s, okay, uh, with this red color, and we're targeting the body, okay, the body, everything in the body, that's everything is gray. Now let's say that we wanted the background color on high kids to be different. Maybe we wanted it to be white, okay? So let's just go up to the H1, hit enter, and we can give it more than one command. So let's type in background color white, just like that, okay? And then we'll click save, just like that. And then we'll refresh over here, and you can see the background of that line is now white, okay? So that's how we can target different things with CSS. Now you can just imagine if we put every command that we wanted, uh, this index.html will go way, 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 way down, okay? And, but so what developers have figured out is if 
they can bring this in, in with a link in the head file. So what they'll do is they'll take all this information right here, okay, and we'll right click and we'll cut it out of there, all right? We'll go ahead and save that file, but we're gonna make another file and we're gonna paste the styles right in there, okay? Now we don't have to include a style in here because we're gonna include style in the type of reference that we reference. But let, let's move all of these over so that they're touching the wall on the left there. Okay, and we're gonna go file, save as, and uh, we, we need to navigate to our uh, WebKids folder. Let's go to WebKids. And so now we want to make another folder. And we're just gonna call this new folder, we're gonna call it CSS, for cascading style sheets, just like that. And we're gonna open that folder, and we're gonna call this style, S-T-Y-L-E. And under the save as type, we want to look for cascading style sheets. Okay, so let's, let's see if they have cascading style sheets. And there it is. See the .css? That's what we want the file format to be. So we click save like that. And you notice now the, the colors are changing and stuff like that. But now, how do we get this style sheet in there so that it's in the index.html? How do we do that? because if we refresh this now we see that all our formatting that we had with the style sheet is gone so how do we get that in there well what we do is we import it remember how we was talking about path issues we go up to the head which is the brains of the operation and we start typing in a link let me show you that link so we'll go up here and we always want to declare CSS force first before the body and before JavaScript and what we want to do is put an arrow to the left and let it know that we're going to get a link. And this link is href. Now it's not an anchor link, but you'll notice that you know uh, anchor link has an A on it. But, but we're going to put equals. And then what did we name that file? We named it style.css, but we put it in another folder. We called the folder CSS. And, and the name of the file is style.css, just like that. Now we need to declare a relation. So R-E-L stands for relation. Put equals and then the quotes. And we got to let, let the computer know that this is a style sheet. So we just type in style sheet just like that. And then we need to know what, let them know what kind of type it is. And, and the, the style sheet is made up of text, okay? It has CSS commands in it, all right? And that's how we import a style sheet. Now, don't forget to close this little tag on the end there. Okay, so now we'll click Save right here. And when we come over here, we'll refresh, and we can see that we got our styles back. Okay, so now we can just edit everything right from our style sheet. Now, if we didn't have this path right, okay, if we, did, if we forgot our CSS folder, and we click Save right here, you'll notice that we won't have any styles. But we have to put in our CSS folder and click Save. So then that way all of our styles is brought in. Okay? So that's what's important for uh, cascading style sheets. Now, we're going to go ahead and play around with style sheets, a little, uh, some styles in the next lesson. And I'm going to give you some exercise files so you can play around with it and, and have some fun with cascading style sheets.